If a research question is asking how effective a new treatment or intervention is, then the randomised controlled trial is the appropriate design to use. It is the study design where researchers have the most control in reducing sources of bias. A randomised controlled trial is a study design in which a sample of participants meeting pre-specified inclusion criteria are randomly assigned to two or more groups to test a specific drug, treatment or other intervention. One group, the experimental group, is assigned to the intervention being tested. The other, the comparison or control group, assigned to an alternative intervention, which may be another active intervention, the current standard treatment, a dummy intervention, sometimes called placebo, or no intervention at all. The groups are followed up to see how effective the experimental intervention was. Outcomes are measured at pre-specified times and the difference in response between the groups attributed to the intervention being tested. The paper we will be looking at in this activity is of the most common type of RCT, the parallel group, where intervention and control arms occur in parallel, but there are other types of RCT used in different scenarios. Parallel group trials randomise individuals into two or more arms, but we may want to randomise at a service, hospital, general practice level. For example, if a study was testing if a text messaging service was effective in improving the take-up of the flu vaccine, it may randomise GP practices to use the new service or not. This kind of trial is called a cluster randomised control trial. The stepped wedge trial is increasingly being used to evaluate health service interventions and is a variant of the more standard parallel cluster RCT. Initially, no clusters receive the intervention. Then at regular intervals, the steps, randomly selected clusters are chosen to cross over to the new intervention until all clusters are receiving the intervention. Other types of RCT are also available. You may want to familiarise yourself with them in your own time. Our paper we are looking at is a parallel group RCT evaluating the effectiveness of a critical appraisal skills training workshop in improving the skills of general practitioners, hospital physicians, professions allied to medicine and healthcare managers and administrators. These one-off workshops are commercially available and the authors wanted to assess its effectiveness to assess its effectiveness and cost to address whether they can help to upskill healthcare professionals. Of course, if this study's intervention does not prove effective with just a half-day workshop of training, maybe they should encourage people to do a certain three-week MOOC instead.